Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back to kick off the Earthshakers tournament. We have four matches for you to see here. Opening up with Tank taking on the Pinecosaurus. Then we'll have Panoplosaurus going up against Gastonia. Kendrosaurus taking on Tarkia. And then Desantorurus taking on the Polar Canthus. And without further ado, let's get on with our foot. Let's get on with these matches. Ooh, yes, you may notice that the, the quality of the actual game seems to be better. Well, I hope it does, because I actually changed the the settings for the game. So it's, so we should have slightly better quality now, which is awesome. Yes, I tried to do the highest quality for my finest peeps. Well, the highest quality I can do with the resources that I have. And I feel like this is beast. This is as high as I can go. Okay, anyway. Up first in the red corner, we have Tank, of course. That Quake Saber could be deadly. Tank could be one to watch in this tournament. But in the blue corner, we have a relatively unknown dinosaur out of the Dinosaur King dinosaurs, the Pinocosaurus. What surprises will we see from this guy? Well, a good stat line here. 2,000 total strength and 1,060 technique. Pinocosaurus looking pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I'll just real quick. Just did some editing here, so hopefully we should have better quality. Always strive for the best, that's what I say. Okay, for those of you that are new to this, moves will be randomly generated by random number generator. One and four will be rock, two and five will be scissors, three and six will be paint scissors. No, two and five will be paper, three and six will be scissors. And these matches will be a best out of three, so. Whoever wins that will go through, and whoever loses it will be knocked out. And it's a good start from Tank. Oh, there's a tie. None of our combatants have Sand Trap, though, so ties probably don't really favour anyone. However, that will favour the Pinocosaurus more, and it's a Venom fan. Wow, the detail looks so much sharper. Like, I again, I do hope it shows up on, on the record when I put it on YouTube, but wow, the detail looks so much better. How come I've never done this? <laughs> Alright. Back to the match. Yeah, you may notice there is a, some issues here. You have su the lines up by here which suck. But, you know, nothing I can do about it. It's, it's worth having a few lines. I think that's something that can't be avoided. Because everyone, everyone that has his emulator have said the same thing. So, yeah, I don't think... line. I think lines can't be avoided. It's just part of the package, I'm afraid. Earth Barrier trigger in there, and it looks like Tank is going to win round one. Well, the Pinocosaurus is not done yet. It does get off a hit, but again, with that Earth Barrier in effect, Tank will sustain little damage. But the poison will change that, so the point it will get poisoned. Hmm. You know, the Pine Tank not home and hosted yet. The Pinocosaurus, one hit from it, could win it. Oh, that's a tie. Ties prob. Ooh, ooh, we might have a draw. Oh, that'd be one hell of a way to start this tournament. Oh, the Pinocosaurus, a third Venom Fang activate in there, and that is going to finish off Tank and give Pinocosaurus a 1 0 lead. Well, Tank started pretty strong, but it just couldn't finish the Pinocosaurus off, and the Pinocosaurus takes round one. Boosh, boosh. Our yellow boy was basically the victim of Super Tyrannosaurus in some of the older Dinosaur King videos. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to round two. Alright then, round two between these hard hitters. Well, hard-headed hitters. Can Tank pull this match back? Or can the Pinocosaurus take a 2-0 win? It's going to be tough for Tank to come back, as the Pinocosaurus did have a good momentum towards the end of that first round which enabled it to win. But, you know, let's not underestimate Tank's might. She definitely packs a punch. But it is the Pinocosaurus that's landing all the blows. Another Venom Fang incoming, which means Tank is going to get poisoned again, which will chip away at her health. <sighs> not much damage dealt, though, but yeah, poison will make up for that. Oh, 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 random number generator being slow. Go on, generate. Please. 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 
Okay, okay, we'll pause it a minute. There it. Let the random number generator do its have its five minutes of pickupness. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but you know, random number generator being awkward, but look at this, another Venom fan coming from the Pinacosaurus. Pinacosaurus dominating early on, and things not looking good for Tank. Does that intensify the poison? No, it doesn't. I think you need the poison type dino and a and venom fang to intensify the poison. Oop, that's a tie. I think Tank will be relieved to land some damage, but look at this. Pinagasaurus showing no mercy so far. And Tank, well, a much needed excited strawberry cake, which will cure the poison as well and heal her up a bit. I hope I, oh, I might not have picked the right one. Oops. Uh, I think I was supposed to be naughty curry and rice. After the double, I need to, <laughs> oh, I didn't cure the poison. I'm gonna have, might have to double check my old video. I do actually have a video showing all the move cards and which dinosaurs, which ones work best on which dinosaurs. And just as a tip, I do believe, especially the water type dinosaurs, that there is a diff. Well, there is obviously a difference between the spinosaurs and the uh, sauropods and the long neck boys. I didn't realize there was actually there's, there's an actual difference between the small wind dinosaurs and the large wind dinosaurs as well. I, I didn't actually know that, but... Um, I think this is going to be curtains for Tank. Wow! Big upset. Big upset. Oh, no! Uh, it, it really doesn't happen for the anime dinosaurs in these tournaments. Tank out already. First match in, Tank is eliminated. So if you had your money on Tank doing well in this tournament, well, you ain't going to get any money back because Tank has been eliminated and the Pinotosaurus is going through. Alrighty then, on to our next matchup, which sees the Panoplosaurus taking on Gastonia. Okay then, in the red corner we have a Panoplosaurus. Its spikes seem to like phasing through its body apparently. Panoplosaurus, we have seen it a few times in my tournaments and in other people's tournaments. It's still one of the more unknown Earth dinosaurs like the uh, Pinotosaurus. Can Panoplosaurus go far in this tournament? It's going to be tough, because in the blue corner, we have the Gastonia. Again, Gastonia is another one of those dinosaurs that you don't see too much of. In fact, a lot of these Earth dinosaurs are like unknowns. Be interesting to see if any of them do really well. Gastonia could be one to watch, though, as it is the attack type variant as well. So I do believe, because it's the attack type one, it does actually have more attack than the Panoplosaurus. But the Panoplosaurus does edge it out in terms of HP and technique. So this is going to be a very interesting match. And that is a tie. Again, none of our combatants have sand traps, so ties don't really help anybody. That's another tie. Ooh, it's the Gastonia getting off the first hit, and it's the death grind. Badoosh. Ram, 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 ram. Panoplosaurus rammed into the ground there and gassed to death. Blech. There's the attack boost from the Gastonia as well. One more hit from the Gastonia should actually end this match because it has very relatively balanced stats and it is attack type as I mentioned. Well, one more hit will definitely win it for Gastonia now with that tie. Can Panoplosaurus strike back? Well, so far Panoplosaurus just cannot get a hit off and only doing damage via tires. Till now. Here comes Atomic Bomb. Ooh, how, how is this Atomic Bomb? Like, see, how is this Atomic Bomb? I don't get how that move is Atomic Bomb. It should just be called, I don't know, something like Flying Takedown. Something like that. But, you know, regardless of what it's called, it's helped Panoplosaurus even things up a bit. Oh, we're back to the ties again. I swear, if this match ends in a draw, which, based on the tie, seems quite likely. Wait, we might have a draw. Ooh, nothing to separate these two. It's all come down to this. Okay. Oh, the Gastonia just fell short. The Panoplosaurus just about snatches round one there with a well-timed crit. 
Well played to Panoplosaurus, <laughs> but, you know, Gastonia ain't dead and buried yet. As I said, it's a best of three, so let's move on to round two. Alright, round two between these two and round one was definitely a close one. And I think a good indication of how even this match is. Which one has enough fuel left? Oh yeah, definitely. Gasonia has a lot more attack than the Panoplosaurus, but the Panoplosaurus does have the bulk on its side, and I think that helped it win that round. I feel like if it had 1400 HP, well, total strength, then I think Gastonia would have won that first round. Well, it could have been a tie. Ties not enough in this tournament. You got it. Only winners get to go through. Well, we're starting with ties again. <laughs> Ooh, if only one of these two had Sand Trap, then this match would definitely be interesting. Looks like it's Gastonia getting off the first hit again. And an attack boost to boot, raising its attack power even higher. It's actually quite a powerhouse, isn't it, Gastonia? Ooh, but the Panoplosaurus does strike back with a crit. And the crit that definitely dealt some damage there, but no Giga Rock Hammer. Even though Panoplosaurus does have decent technique, it didn't get off that Giga Rock Hammer. That Giga Rock Hammer there would have... Actually, I think it would have... Well, it would have certainly left Gastonia's HP in the red. Well, it doesn't need a Giga Rock Hammer because it gets off another crit, which finishes off the Gastonia. And that... And makes Panoplosaurus the winner. Well, that was kind of... That was a much quicker matchup. And commiserations to the Gastonia, because I thought like it, 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 it got dealt a tough opening match. But, you know, credit to the Panoplosaurus for looking mightily strong and mightily impressive as it advances to the last, what is it, last 12, I should say, where it will take on the Pinacosaurus, the other unknown. Be an interesting matchup, wouldn't it? You'd think the Panoplosaurus would be quite the good favourite, but... The Pinocosaurus did just defeat Tank, but anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to our third matchup of this video, which sees Kentrosaurus going up against the Tarkia. Okay then, in the red corner we have the Kentrosaurus. Somehow the winner of my recent Battle Royale in the Jurassic World Evolution. Can it win this one? Is, is, did that Battle Royale foreshadow Kentrosaurus' success in this tournament? Just have to see one. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it, if Kentrosaurus won the Earthshakers tournament? But it's going to be tough because in the blue corner we have one of the heavy hitters here, the Tarkia. This Tarkia is attack type, so it definitely will pack a punch. And its attack stats are very well rounded as well, which is very rare for an attack type dino. Because what I find with the attack type dinosaurs is that their crits are a lot higher than their other two moves. But in the case of Tarkia and Gastonia as well, they, the attacks are very well balanced, so attack type is really good on those guys. This is this is basically attack versus defense, because Kentrosaurus is focused more on defense and resilience and tank and hits, but the Tarkia is more focused around attack. There's the elemental power there from the Kentrosaurus that will shield it from some damage, but the Crystal Crusher has been triggered. And Crystal Crusher could be key for the Tarkia to win this matchup because it does lower the opposition's defences. And defeating a defensive-minded dino like Kentrosaurus, lowering its defence could be critical. But so far, the Tarkia hasn't landed a blow. And well, so far it still hasn't landed a hit yet. Tarkia not looking good at all. Kentrosaurus plowing home. But, here comes the final fury, here comes the net crusher, here comes Tarkia's first hit. And look at that, That's, that wasn't even its crit and it did all that. It's insane. Really good. Look at over half his health gone from one attack. Granted it was buffed up by final fury as well, let's not, let's not forget about that. But Tarkia is a beast. And let's not forget, you want to say, wait, is this curtains? I think this is curtains for Kendra Swords. Let's not forget that Euoplocephalus also has an attack type variant and is also a balanced dinosaur. So what Tarkia can do, Euoplocephalus does better. Well, look at that. Two net crushers from the Tarkia has snatched this round from the Kentrosaurus. 
of course, the Final Fury definitely helped. If it weren't for Final Fury, Kentrosaurus would have tanked those two hits. And then Tag Team would have been a factor. But the, the Tarkia was down to his last bit of health, which enabled it to snatch round one away from the Kentrosaurus. But it's still all to play for as we move on to round two. Alright then, round two between these two. Kendrasaurus in the red corner, looking to bounce back after that. An unlucky defeat, to be honest, because it was on top for most of that match. And in fact, it did get more hits off than the Tarkia. But the Tarkia made better use of their hits. So, so far, in the, in the battle of attack versus defense, attack has definitely taken the lead. Of course, you could say the Kendrasaurus was unlucky because it didn't get off any earth barriers. So, you know, Kendrasaurus was, didn't have much didn't make the most of their hits, whereas Tarkia did. So Kentrosaurus is going to have to make better use of the hits they get. If they get any, they might not get any. Well, they're going to land damage with a tie. Another tie. Even Steven so far. Tarkia won't mind this, though, because it... Well, it doesn't really matter if Tarkia loses this one, because they'll have another chance to win it next round. Wow, Tarkia is huge. Like, some of the, if you know, if you actually take note of some of the dinosaurs, even though they have the same animations, they are, they are, there is some scaling involved with some of these dinosaurs. So, things like Kentrosaurus is relatively small, but if this is Stegosaurus, it would be much larger. And Tarkia being the same as well, it's one of the larger ankylosaurs, and I think it's. Fun fact, I think it is the largest ankylosaur found in Asia. Bigger than Cychania. Not as big as uh, Euoplocephalus or Ankylosaurus, I think. There's the elemental power. There's the earth barrier. I don't know if it's going to matter here, though, because Kentrosaurus' HP is so low. It, oh, it might matter, because this is a crit. Elemental power. Oh, look at that. Elemental power limited the damage, as did Earth Barrier. And the tag team has been triggered. So the next time Tarkia gets a hit, Papasaurus will come into play. Ooh, Kendrasaurus landing a crit. Tarkia. Is Tarkia about to regret not finishing it off? Look at this. Big damage and well. This is going to change nothing because Kendrasaurus got no health. But look at this. A tie would prob well, a tie would be a tie. <laughs> oh, it's not! The Kendrosaurus has even the score. Tarkia just could not finish it off. And Kentrosaurus is right back in this matchup, even in the score. And you know what that means? It's all gonna come down to this next round. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena for this third round showdown between the Kentrosaurus and the Tarkia. So far, in terms of a defense versus attack, I'd say we're even. The defensive might of the Kentrosaurus enabled it to survive the Tarkia's hits, and it got just enough hits off to kill the Tarkia. Who's going to win this round? Oh, I it's going to be a tough one. I, th I think the Tarkia is going to win it. I think Tarkia is going to just edge it, but this has definitely been quite an even match so far. In fact, the last match was an even match as well. You know, with um, Panoplosaurus only just getting over the line there. Well, that's definitely a good start for the Tarkia. Yeah, a crit right off the bat. But again, you know, despite it being a crit, it doesn't do as much damage as other dinosaurs crits would because Tarkia is well-rounded. Boom. Well, here comes another crit. Tarkia on top. But the tag team has been triggered, so Tarkia will not be landing any more damage until that tag team expires. Meanwhile, the Kendrosaurus responds with his first attack. Getting off that elemental power as Crystal Crusher gets triggered. Ooh, but no Earth Barrier, though. Earth Barrier could have come in handy there. Actually, I'm, I'm wondering if tag team and Earth Barrier gets triggered at the same time. Will the Earth Barrier expire if the Tarkia had got a hit? I think it would have. Oh, well, oh, there's Papasaurus. Despite it being a Crystal Crusher from the Tarkia, the Papasaurus will come in to tank the hit. Ah, oh, poor Papasaurus. 
is basically just a whoopee cushion. Hang on, does that mean that the negative effect that would have been given to Kentrosaurus is now given to the Papa? It would be hard to tell because Kentrosaurus' HP is so low, so if Tarkia gets a hit, Kentrosaurus is going to die anyway. Oh, that's a tie. Tie suit the Tarkia down to the ground. And that is game over for Kentrosaurus. So nope, the Jurassic World Evolution Battle Royale was not foreshadowing Kentrosaurus' victory in this tournament, as the Tarkia takes the win. Pretty impressive from the Tarkia, and I think it could be a dark horse in this tournament. I, I really do Sing think up. that. Tarkia, an absolute beast. Okay, that's enough about that matchup, because we have one more match to go in this video, and that sees the Decentureras taking on Polar Canvas, two local heroes going at it. Okay then, in the red corner we have the Decentureras. Decentureras has actually, actually has seen some play in my tournaments, and has done decently okay, hasn't done too amazing. Will it be amazing in this tournament? We'll just have to see, won't we? It'll be tough because in the blue corner, we have the orange armoured boy itself, the Polar Canvas. Polar Canvas, another local hero like the DeSantoreras. Can it go far in this tournament? Um, I don't know who I think... I think the Polar Canvas does have the slight edge in this fight. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it went either way. Oh, that's a tie. Neither of our combatants have Sand Trap, but ties do favour Desantorus more because of his tie type. And as you saw there, it sustained less damage while doing more damage to the Polar Canvas. Good start from the Desantorus. Good start. Getting off a, getting off the first hit while landing some damage with the ties. There's a defence boost as well. And an Earth Barrier. Desantorus, like it's... Like its, Ken like its other stegosaurid relative Kendrosaurus is more focused on defense and attack. Although unlike this Kendrosaurus, it does have a recovery move in light recovery. Kendrosaurus could be a tough to take down for the Polar Canvas, as it is learning the hard way. Well, look at this. Dominant start from Kendra Desantorurus. Looking really good. Polar Canvas not looking good at all. And let's not forget that Earth Barrier is still in effect, so even if Polar Canvas gets a hit, it'll have to go through Earth Barrier first. And well, it doesn't look like it's going to get a hit. Oh, there's the tie recovery. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy's tie recovery effect, so, you know, ties I'd say favor the Sandra more because it does more damage, and tie recovery type doesn't always activate. But tie recovery type has... Oh my god, it's... Oh my god, again? Tie recovery type has basically kept Polar Canvas in this. Well, until the Decentralist got off a hit. Wow. <laughs> the defensive might of the Decentralist has dispatched the Polar Canvas with relative ease in that first round. But, you know, there's still plenty to play for, so don't count the Polar Canvas out yet. As it can make a comeback when we move on to round two. Alrighty then, round two, DeSantra Rurus looked mightily impressive in that first round, but wasn't really tested by the Polar Canvas. For the Polar Canvas to survive in this tournament, it's gonna have to come out and attack more, or the DeSantra Rurus is gonna get quite an easy passage into the last 12. Well, here we go again, the DeSantra Rurus opening up with a hit, defense boost being activated too, and I suspect Earth Barrier? No. Okay. That's a surprise. I mean, it's not going to activate every time, let's be honest. There's a tie. No tie recovery, though. Maybe tie recovery activates more when your health is lower. But the Decentralis is getting off another hit. Come on, Polar Canvas. Do something. Like, he hasn't, got, he hasn't even got off a hit. And an Earth Barrier as well will tighten Decentralis' grip on this match. And I'm pretty... I'm almost 670% confident that, this, that the DeSantoros is going to win. But, you know, RNG can throw up such something interesting. And, well, it hasn't so far, because the DeSantoros get another hit. Come on, Polar Camp, let's get at least one hit off in this match. Nope! Wow. 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever had such a one-sided match. No hits. The Polar Canvas got zero hits off. Quite the letdown here. But the DeSantorus, it will have tougher tests to come. Almost, well, definitely have tougher tests to come. But a comfortable win there as he books his place in the last 12. Right, we'll have a look at the bracket format thingy and we'll end the session. Well, I think this is this is probably the biggest surprise of the video. Tank falling against the the pan the, the, the Pinocosaurus. Pinocosaurus looked pretty good in that matchup. Tank, again, like all the other anime dinos, didn't quite happen for them. And well, we only got Chomp left. Maybe Chomp can fare better than all of the others. It would be fitting, wouldn't it, since Chomp was the main, pretty much the main protagonist out of all the dinosaurs in the show this was a this was a really good match this was a very close match gastonia definitely unlucky there to be going out because it definitely put up a fight but the panoplosaurus looked strong too again this one was quite a tight game even though the tar you know the the the, the started well the kent the tarkia started no the kentrosaurus started really well and then the tarkia got the neck crushers off to win it and then kentrosaurus bit back but the Tarkia were pretty dominant in that third round, which enabled it to go through. And then over here, well, poor Polar Canvas didn't get a hit off one, didn't get one hit off at all. It's completely one-sided. I suspect that will not happen in this matchup. I suspect the Tarkia will be the strong favourite in this matchup. So Decentralurus, it's going to be a lot tougher for Decentralurus against the Tarkia. But yeah, some exciting matches to look forward to in the, in the last 12. But that's going to end this session, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any matches in the Earthshakers tournament. And stay tuned for next time, where we will see Stegosaurus vs. Cychania, Soropelta vs. Edmontonia, Alpha Woohoo against Normal Woohoo, and Gigant Spinosaurus taking on Armatus. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.